Hello everyone, Amod here from Retarget Common YouTube channel and in this video we are going to learn to import or clone a Git repository in the latest version of IntelliJ IDEA. On the screen you can see I am using the latest version of IntelliJ IDEA which is 2023.3.3 and this is the welcome page of IntelliJ IDEA. If you have not created or using any project in IntelliJ then you will see this window or when you have installed the IntelliJ IDEA recently then while launching the IntelliJ IDEA you will get this screen. This is the welcome screen of IntelliJ IDEA. Or if you have closed all the project of IntelliJ IDEA then also this screen will be open. So here we have options like you can get a new project, you can open the existing project or you can get it from VCS version control system which is git. Since we need to clone the existing git repository then I need to select the git from VCS option. So select this. Here we have some options left hand side like you can put the repository URL. And if you have GitHub or GitLab project, then you can directly have some options. So I'm not going to use this one because I am going to make a common video, a common concept, which will be applicable for all type of Git repository cloning. So if you use a different version control system, then also you can follow the similar steps, but Git is most popular. So select Git and we need to pass the URL, URL of your project, which you want to clone. For that, I'm going to my GitHub profile. If you're using some different service provider like Bitbucket or GitLab, you need to go to that project and every project will have a URL specific to that project. So if you see this GitHub project and if you want to get the URL of this project, you can click on this code icon. And here we have some options for cloning, like you can clone HTTPS link, SSH link, or GitHub CLI link. So I'm going to use the HTTPS, clone this or copy this URL, go to your IntelliJ and paste it here. Click on clone. You can see it has started the cloning the repository. It is asking for you if you have to trust this project or not. Yeah, we need to trust it. So click on this trust project option and you can see it is dissolving some dependencies because it is a Maven project. So it will dissolve all the dependencies of the project. That is fine, but you can see project has been cloned here and since we have cloned it from get you can see it has shown you the default branch master if you have multiple branches then you can see those things here as well like how many remote branches we have how many local branches we have if you want to contribute to this project you can create a local branch make your changes commit and push to the master and here we have all the options if you want to commit if you want to update the project updating project means you can pull the changes if the repository is public then you don't need to create the github account but if the repository is private then you should have access on that project and while cloning or importing that project in the IntelliJ idea you need to log in with your credentials now suppose you are already working on some project on IntelliJ IDEA and you want to clone a new project. For that, you need to click on this icon, then go to Git and then we see one option called clone. Click on this. Now we got the same window, whatever we got at the beginning after clicking on Git from VCS option. Now you need to paste the URL, click on clone. The steps are same. Thank you everyone. 